Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to focus on how to write a resume with ChatGPT. Um, that's the link, that's a template that we have uh, like for the resume. Uh, let me talk about this template. That's like a, a base template that you can create for your resume. So it contains objective. So you mentioned here like your soft skill that you have or your ability that um, uh, you have, and which is unique. And uh, if you have like a kind of uh, skill um, uh, that you got in, in the college or uh, your school, uh, you can mention here under objective. So some qualification you can list it here. Um, you can list it based on uh, uh, deep understanding, uh, which one you're very, very good. Or if you have like experience with that technology or uh, you you have a general knowledge of that technology so you can mention here uh, so that's like your qualification uh, for uh, uh, for that job certification you can list it here that the, the important thing that is that that your certification should have a date so you should mention the date that you the certificate is issued and also, if you have a driver license or uh, some stuff like that, because some employers like to know that, uh, do you have, for example, driver license or not? So you can list it here. Uh, so that's the keywords. So we put for uh, those employers, they're using machine uh, for reading the resume. So if you have like these kind of keywords, uh, then you're uh, going to be in the list of uh, for example, accepted resume. Um, so it's a very good idea that if you have worked with the different technologies, hardware, software, just list it here. So I mentioned some um, uh, examples here. And then we reach to experience. So uh, if you have worked somewhere related, you can list it here um, related to job position. So like if you are applying for network administrator, if you have worked before as a customer service or um, you're supporting some customers, it can be a related job. Um, uh, they, then we have education. So it's a very good idea that uh, usually when you're doing, for example, uh, studying at college or uh, university or uh, secondary school, um, there are some programs, uh, so employers don't know about that program. So it's a very good idea to list the courses that you have done. Uh, so which one was, was very important. Uh, so you can also mention that what type of certification you got to, uh, through the, that course, like Office 365 or Azure Clouds. Um, so you can list them here. Also, last one, if you have done any project, or home project, you can mention here. So now the one, one thing that usually students ask uh, how to write the objective. Um, these days we have chat GPT and I've already mentioned here some uh, template, but I'm gonna bring my chat GPT here uh, so you can see here. For example, um, I wanna write some things uh, like a, objective for resume with uh, self-motivation, hardworking. Uh, let's, um, let's list some adjectives here. Uh, I, wanna, I want to write an objective for resume uh, with these adjectives. Uh, so I'm just listing that, for example, hardworking, um, uh, I can say detail oriented. So look at your um, soft skill that you have, right? And then put some adjectives here like hard work and teamwork um, um, or uh, so stuff that you have. So I, I just put it here as a sample. So let's see what chat, chat GPT um, response. So uh, is to secure the position that leverage my hardworking nature, detail-oriented approach, and team working skill to continue the success of organization while simultaneously enhancing my uh, professional growth. 
So also you can ask um, um, chat GPT, write, uh, for example, write this sentence in I for I format. Okay, I'm, I'm just providing this sentence again. Um, so let's see what is the result. So that can be one um, objective for resume, or you can say a search like this: um, "Show me template for um, 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 for writing objective in resume." Uh, look, there are some like these are some samples that you can get. Uh, so. Uh, you can paraphrase the uh, sentence. You can ask ChatGPT to paraphrase some sentence. The other question that usually they ask, uh, like how to write a cover letter. So you can ask ChatGPT, for example, uh, uh, show me some samples of cover letter. So these are some samples that you can get how to write this uh, cover letter for your employers, or even when you're sending email, um, like some people asking, okay, what should I write in the um, uh, cover letter? And what should I write in the email that I'm sending like to a hiring manager? So these are some samples, uh, like for <laughs> different positions you can see, for example, uh, software developer, you can see here, financial institute. So you can be a specific as chat GPT, okay. Show me samples, um, show me a sample, let me, show me a sample um, for IT, for, for network administrator. Um, cover letter for network administrator. So you see that now it shows you um, how to write the cover letter um, for um, uh, your employer. So that's related to networking. You see that I'm currently role at, I've been responsible for managing LAN one VPN connection, monitoring the network, and my experience uh, is uh, like a TCP DNS. So you can put that experience here, you know. You can also, if you don't like the sentence, you can uh, paraphrase that. You can ask chat DVD, okay, make it as an I format or make it as like a third person format. Uh, then um, usually chat GPT paraphrase there. I use some adjectives and different words uh, to create uh, the great sentence. So I hope this video has been informative and thanks for watching.